There are many different ways to enjoy the splendor of Thailand's Andaman Sea, but this would have to be one of the best. So jump on board and I'll show you what luxury cruising is all about. There's no doubt that Thailand's Andaman Sea is one of the most beautiful places in the world to go cruising. But I've actually set out into these waters with a purpose. In fact, I've joined the team from Wahoo, one of the top game fishing groups in the region. And I'm gonna try my luck to reel a few big ones in. There are many ways to enjoy the waters of Thailand South, but I have to admit, I was spoiled having the chance to go cruising and fishing with Wahoo on two of the company's most luxurious charter boats. The team at Wahoo has more than 20 years of experience fishing out of their home base in Phuket. Named after the Wahoo fish, climb aboard with this crew and you'll have a good chance of reeling in some of the biggest catches in the Andaman Sea, like sailfish and marlin. Or if you'd rather just explore the islands in style, you can let others do the real work while you do nothing much at all. Wahoo's newly launched flagship, Real Blue, is a brand new G2 Riviera 47 and is perhaps the finest game fishing boat in Asia. No expense has been spared in outfitting this vessel with the very best in comfort and deep sea equipment. Or if you just want a liveaboard luxury holiday, take a journey on Splendor. This is a brand new Maritimo 48 Sky Lounge luxury cruising motor yacht. It has been custom designed, is luxury on the waves and has a top speed of 30 knots. It was time to explore the islands. Now, if you do get tired of reeling in all those fish, the great thing about the Andaman Sea is it's also home to scores of tiny islands like this one. And quite often, you'll be the only person there. Now, this island is known as Cot Rock and it's a wonderful spot for snorkeling. There are some fantastic clusters of brain coral just offshore here and some wonderful fish. So let's go check it out. The next day I was on board Real Blue to see if I could catch our next meal. Okay, you go forward, you pull back, right? Yeah. And you ride the way back, go over like this. Right. Then you come to the bottom, you stop, and then you pull back. Okay. Right, you keep going all the way. All right. How's it looking, Joe? Yeah, good, man. You go faster, then. Faster, okay. All right. Oh, that's not bad. Woo! <laughs> So what is that? Yeah, this one is uh, require a little tuna. It's a little tuna, there you go. Do we, do we keep that one or we yeah, throw it back? Yeah, keep it for There you go, there's lunch. <laughs> well, this is Joe, he's senior deckhand with Wahoo and he's been taking really good care of us on this trip. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> You're a good cook. I always cook. And a good fisherman as Thank well. You. Now, what's the biggest fish you've caught out here? Uh, hey, we caught marlin. A yeah. lot of marlin in this season, about six, seven hundred pounds. Six or seven hundred pounds. Uh, wow! And marlin is that the one with the really pointy, yeah, pointy the spike the on the nose on the bill? Yep. Yeah. Mm. The next day, we ventured to the nearby famous Maya Beach, the location for the movie The Beach. life is it? 
there's worse places to be and worse things to be doing, yeah. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about Wahoo? Uh, Wahoo is a company that's been in Phuket now for uh, anywhere up to about 20 years of various names and guises. Uh, the current owners took hold of it two and a half years ago and we've been developing it and growing it ever since. We've added obviously the boat that we're on today. In fact, both of the boats that we're on today we've added in the last two years. And tell me a little bit about this one, Splendor. This one was bought purely as a, as a party and a sort of entertaining boat. Um, obviously it's kitted out with some fishing equipment just because that's part of what we do. M mainly to go and catch some tuna for some fresh sashimi and those sorts of things. Um, this boat was delivered in December, so it's only about sort of five or six months old. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Now, I didn't have much luck on this trip catching a really big fish. I think I got one about that big. But you've caught some pretty big ones, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we have. Uh, the biggest one we've caught on Real Blue over there uh, is between eight and 900 pound black marlin. Wow. Uh, again, that was tagged and released, so it's all part of the ecology side that we do. And I believe that Wahoo has a record for sailfish as well. Yep, we, we've got the record in Phuket for the most number of sailfish tagged and released. Um, that's something that we're quite, we're quite big on. Uh, the crew are actually incentivized to tag and release the fish, so that yeah. we, we, there's, there's no worry of them being brought on the boat. Obviously, we'll, we'll try and get a, a picture of the fish for the customer. Um, we'll put a tag in it and send, the, send that information off to America and then the person gets a certificate saying that they've caught it. Now go on, how, how long did it take, take you to reel that one in? Uh, the, the, the big fish, yeah. uh, it was actually a customer who, who wound it in, I think that one took about an hour. Wow, um, gosh. And you got a 600 pounder yep, yourself? Yeah, uh, just at the end of February coming back from the Andaman Islands, we were halfway between Phuket and, and the Andaman Islands, so it's about 300 miles from here. And, uh, Old Joe over there put a lure in and 20 minutes later I was woken up out of the, the bunk going, gone, there's a big fish on. And uh, it was a, sort of between five and 600 pound black marlin. Oh, that's so. incredible. Mm, oh, I mean, it was about as long as this boat is wide, to give you an idea of the Gosh. size of it. So. And have you ever caught a fish that somebody else has caught and tagged? Unfortunately, not yet. Um, it's, it's not deterred us from carrying on tagging, but uh, it, it is quite a significant fact that we've tagged that many fish and none of them have been caught again. Um, and we haven't heard from America that any of the fish that we've caught have been t caught anywhere else. So oh, well, I hope you do have a lucky day out there and you do find one of them. Yeah, well, we'll probably find one that's got about five or six tags in it. I reckon they go around and swap them all with each other, you know? Yes. <laughs> well, it's been a fantastic couple of days out here. No, it's, it's been an enjoyable few days, you know, g yeah. going to some places that I've, I haven't been to for a while. So. Absolutely. Well, I can testify, if you want to have a really amazing experience on a luxurious boat, whether it's fishing or just lying around doing nothing, like I've been doing, <laughs> then check out Wahoo. What can we catch here? Now you've got to admit, when it comes to exploring Thailand in style, it doesn't get much better than this. Then it was time to pull up anchor and head for home. I'd caught a few fish and had seen some of the loveliest islands in Thailand's Andaman Sea. What better expression than Wahoo to sum up a great adventure? <laughs>